Hello, здравствуйте, привет, Михаил, hola, здорово, welcome family to yet another interesting video. It is your boy Matthews, aka Machu Zero Hate. In today's video, I'm going to show you the place that means a lot to me, the place that I call second home, or rather my home, because I've stayed in this place for seven solid years and the name of this place is called nine slash two or in russian david drop dva this is the dormitory for foreign students who study at the north eastern federal university welcome to russia yakovsk i can comfortably say that i grew up in this place hence it has a special place in my heart without wasting much of your time let's go inside and see what this special home comprises this is the reception where you come and you leave your id whenever you are coming from outside and you get it whenever you are leaving these small boxes you can see that's where you put your extra shoes we usually call them exchange shoes because when you come back you remove your shoes and wear the slippers that you left in these boxes and this is the receptionist most of the receptionist here in russia are women as you are walking down the first floor of this home you are going to find different offices or this is where you find the administrative offices you can talk of the office for the administration of this dormitory you can find a cafe or cafeteria you can find the washing machine this is the room where you come and wash your clothes you can see these washing machines and i can confess to you that the first time i used the washing machine it's when i came to russia back then in zambia i could just use my hands to wash clothes hence they say that everything happens for the very first time apart from that you can find a fitness room where you can do fitness and other things but unfortunately it is closed right now this building you can see means a lot to me because i came to russia in 2015 and this was the first place that accommodated me i can say that all the corridors rooms kitchen bathrooms or shower toilets have got similar designs as you can see this is the kitchen as i said that they've got similar or same designs in the kitchen you can find a freezer a cooler a stove a cupboard everything that you would need a microwave to warm your food and other things hence this dormitory was built with every student on mind and the kitchens we've got also balcons we use them as natural refrigerators in winter to keep our food that's an advantage when it is cold here in yakutia don't forget to leave a comment by letting by letting me know what you think about this place or dormitory if you are a student studying in another country it could be russia it could be in europe it could be asia it could be south america north america australia antarctica let's go and check the toilets this toilet is clean to the max this is how the toilets or the toilets or most of the toilets look like 
there is everything and everything is in working conditions and this is the nice amazing shower i first used such kind of a shower when i came to russia you see how it is where you can wash your face and this is the shower where you can just come you pop in you start showering immediately you don't need to warm the water because it has got hot and cold water at the same time so life cannot be much more easier than this you know walking down through this building i just don't know how i can explain because it this building saw me grow up into a man that i am now because i've gone through a lot with this building during the time of covid during the time of sanction hence this will always be my second home i can i can never trade it with anything the rooms are designed differently they are the ones which cutters for three people and this is the room which cutters for three people they are three beds as you can see the room is enough for three people they are three wardrobes or closets where you can put all your stuff like clothes shoes and other things so this room is for three people I have come to the room which is made for two people it is even smaller than the other one that I showed you for three people you can also find two cupboards to put your clothes there is even this maybe I can call it here you can also find two wardrobes where you can put your clothes and other things you can also see these small cupboards where you can put your small books and textbooks even this room looks pretty much the same with the ones that i've just shown you so this is the home or this is the place where i've been living for the past seven years in yakutia other rooms they have got balcons where you can put your extra stuffs but mostly in winter on the balcons we put our food here because in winter the temperature drops to minus 60 to minus 50 hence it acts as a natural freezer walking around this place reminds me of a lot of things when i came i couldn't speak russian it was difficult for me to communicate with local students i asked people to teach me how to use the washing machine how to use the microwave how to use a lot of things because most of the things I knew or met them when I came to this place. Hence, I say that this place has been very special and has got a very special place in my heart until I die. If you are watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you in the next video. It was your boy. Matthews aka Machu 08 a Zambian Russian person thank you bye bye much love